वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम इलेवन डैश सिक्सटीन सो स्टेटमेंट इज इफ द केबल इज सब्जेक्टेड टू अ मैक्सिमम फोर्स ऑफ फिफ्टी किलो न्यूटन सेलेक्ट द लाइटेस्ट डब्ल्यू थ्री टेन शेप दैट कैन सेफली सपोर्ट द लोड द बीम इज मेड फ्रॉम स्टील हैविंग एन अलाउेबल नॉर्मल स्ट्रेस इज वन फिफ्टी मेगा पासकल एंड अलाउेबल शेयरिंग स्ट्रेस ऑफ एटी फाइव मेगा पासकल सो दिस इज अम्पली सपोर्टेड बीम यू कैन सी हेयर वेयर देर इज अ there is a hoist and there is a cable that exert a load of p is equal to 50 kilo newton so you have to choose the lightest w310 shape that will carry the safely support that load so p is 50 kilo newton allowable bending stress is 150 allowable shearing stress is 85 mega pascal and we have to find this lightest 310 shape so let's start with the solution the first step is that if we remove the support at this point clear so definitely there will be a reaction force let this is r a and let if we remove this support so there will be a reaction force that is represented as r b so from our uh, from equilibrium condition what is the equilibrium condition the condition is that sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to zero and taking the upward force as positive so from here you will get r a is upward plus r b is upward minus this p which is 50 kilo newton that is 50 kilo newton is equal to 0 and from here you will get r a plus r b is equal to 50 and let we have this is equation number 1 so we will apply another equilibrium condition that sum of all moment about point b is equal to 0 and taking the counter clockwise moment as positive so about point b we have one moment is due to r a in perpendicular distance is 4 meter and this will be clockwise so it will be negative the second moment is due to this p and perpendicular distance is 2 and this will create counter clockwise moment and that will be positive their sum must be equal to 0 so r a into perpendicular distance is 4 that will be minus plus p into perpendicular distance is 2 is equal to 0 so 4 r a is equal to 2 p and that is equal to 2 into 50 which is equal to 100 so 4 r a is equal to 100 so it means r is equal to 25 kilo newton now we have r a you can put it in put r a in equation number 1 when you put it so 25 plus r b is equal to 50 so we will get r b is also equal to 25 kilo newton now we have both r a and r b so we will move toward uh, drawing shear force and bending moment diagram so for that i will draw vertical lines from the end of the beam there and we will draw the shear force and bending moment diagram so let this along this horizontal we have length that is in meter we have shear force that will be in kilo newton this is your point 0 and you can see that at point a we have r a which is 25 clear so first we will pl plot that so let each division is 10 so this is 10 this is 20 and this will be 30 kilo newton so 25 will be in mid in in between this so this is 25 now you can see moving from a to till 2 meter there is no other force so it will remain constant so 
this will be led this is the mid of the beam so this 25 will remain horizontal till this point now at this point we have a load of minus 50 that is p is minus 50 because it is downward so 25 minus 50 will equal to minus 25 so shear force will change from 25 to minus 25 so this is minus 20 and this is minus 25 so this will be your point and the shear force will change from this to this this is plus 25 kilo newton this is minus 25 and now you can see that moving from this p till this end there is no other force so shear force will remain same and at end you can see that you have rb which is equal to 25 plus so minus 25 plus 25 will bring it to the zero okay so this is your shear force diagram now we will draw the bending moment diagram so again you have to draw horizontal line here you will x in meter now you will have movement and that movement will be in kilo newton into meter again at point a you can see this is point a where x is equal to zero so movement will be equal to zero so this is your point a again this area under the shear force will give you movement and this area is equal to 25 multiply this is 25 clear multiply by this length which is 2 so it will be 50 so at the mid we will have 50 kilo newton into meter so this is mid and let each division is 25 so 25 25 is 50 so we will have this point now you can see that shear force is a horizontal zero degree line with uh, no slope because it is horizontal so bending moment will be a straight line and it will be one degree line with a positive slope upward slope because this area is positive so we will join these two lines clear so this is 50 kilo newton into meter now the second area which is this one and this one is the same it is this area is minus 50 so plus 50 minus 50 will bring it to zero at this point and we will get the bending moment like this because the slope is decreasing as this area is negative clear so this is the bending moment diagram now what we will do is that we have to choose the economical section or wide flange beam so we know that uh, uh, required section modulus for this beam is equal to maximum bending moment divided by allowable bending stress so maximum bending moment is this you can see from bending moment diagram it is 50 kilo newton into meter so 50 into 10 to power 3 and allowable bending and stress that is given as 150 megapascal so 150 into 10 to power 6 so when you calculate you will get required section modulus is equal to 0 0.33 into 10 to power minus 3 cubic meter are in term of millimeter because we will have the millimeter value so we will convert it into millimeter so it is 10 to the power 3 cubic millimeter now we will check this value s is equal to 333.3 into 10 to the power 3 in the appendix b and let's move toward appendix b and we will note down this so for that you have to go to the appendix b geometric property of sections structures so what we in question we have been asked to find to choose among the 310 so you have to scroll down you have to check in this is appendix b this is c section now this is w310 so you have to choose now you can see over here this is all the range of w310 so we have section modulus is 333 
so this is the section modulus value you can choose the value closest to 333 so you can see that this one is greater than 333 but that is closest to that clear so we will choose this w310 by 33 we will note down its depth which is 313 millimeter thickness of web is 6.60 .6 and this section modulus is 415 into 10 to the power 3 cubic millimeter so we will note down over here so from appendix b we select w 310 by 33 so its section modulus is 415 into 10 to the power 3 cubic millimeter depth was 313 millimeter and thickness of web was 6.60 millimeter so this is the most economical wide flange beam so now we will check whether this will satisfy our condition so how we will check so we will check it by using shear stress formula so as we know that maximum shearing stress is equal to v max divided by thickness of web into d so v max from the shear force diagram is you can see that is 25 kilo newton so 25 into 10 to the power 3 divided by thickness of web is 6.60 so 6.60 into 10 to the power minus 3 will convert it into meter and 313 is the, uh, height 313 into 10 to the power minus 3 so when you solve this you will get maximum shearing stress comes out to be 12.10 mega pascal and you can see this is less than shearing uh, allowable shearing stress that is 85 mega pascal okay so 12.5 12.10 is less than 85 mega pascal so it means that uh, this beam satisfies the maximum sharing stress as well hence the conclusion is that we can use w310 by 33 wide flying beam for given loading i hope you are enjoying my videos and also you are learning from them uh those who are new to my channel then subscribe it now and click the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest videos if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching